Well, that day has arrived when ISRO is going to launch uh, India's very ambitious project, Aditya L1. Indian astronomers have worked quite a lot for several years, more than a decade, to achieve this uh, goal. It's going to face the sun all the time, 24 by 7, and uh, all through the year. Solar Corona is the uh, main uh, sort of ob object of our interest. Well, that day has arrived when ISRO is going to launch uh, India's very ambitious project, Aditya L1. And this is a space-based solar observatory, and Indian astronomers have worked quite a lot for several years, more than a decade, to achieve this uh, goal. And that day is today, when uh, this uh, satellite will be launched into space. And it's eventually going to be placed at a point called Lagrange 1, that is L1. And this is a point which is about one and a half million kilometers from this Earth's center in the direction of the sun on the sun-Earth's axis. This point is where the gravitational field uh, of the Earth and the sun are equalizing in a sense that uh, there's no uh, force felt and it's just uh, equalized force. So let's hope in the next four months when at the L1 uh, as the satellite is placed, it's going to face the sun all the time, 24 by 7 and uh, all through the year. So Indian astronomers are going to benefit from it because it's a high technology uh, instrumentation that has gone in and it's very up-to-date electronics. So we are also aiming at uh, regions to observe from this point, regions very close to the sun's surface and the solar corona is the, uh, the main uh, sort of ob object of our interest. Sir, is there any difficulty or challenging situation, sir, today? I don't see at the moment because uh, PSLV rocket is a trusted workhorse of ISRO and uh, it's going to be first placed in the earthbound orbit then there will be several earth uh, orbit raisings after which it will be placed in a cruise orbit and then eventually it has to land at uh, L1 where uh, ISRO is going to do quite a lot of uh, maneuver in such a way that it follows, it, it enters uh, that point and, and uh, adopts a, a halo orbit and, uh, around that point. And it, will, it is going to face all the time, it's, uh, the solar panels are going to face the sun all the time so that energy is available and instruments can work. Sir, I want to ask one more time. So why L1? Why particular L1 point? One thing is that near the Earth, uh, we have uh, many more uh, difficulties and uh, continuous monitoring of the sun is very essential because L1 moves around the sun as the Earth moves around the sun. It's uh, the same angular velocity. And there, therefore, all the time the sun is available and there are no eclipses caused by the moon. Uh, and uh, obviously, that point also is of interest because we are virtually outside the magnetosphere of the Earth, so we can understand uh, certain the, the intricacies of interplanetary medium.